John Garcia reached out to me here on the channel and asked how we can use paint specific data with our materials. Okay, so one part of the problem is the paint specific data because if you would uh, create a material and use something that's painted onto the model, it's tied to the UVs on that specific model. So when you wanna apply this material onto another geometry, it wouldn't work because yeah, then the UVs is expecting to be onto that model. So there is a few ways we can go about this and that would be either to use utility inputs onto the material or use something called a geo channel. So let's take a look at how we can do that. When we build our materials, we want to build it as non-specific as possible but we also want to have the flexibility in a material to use something like uh, decals or whatever we want to use for the specific model in mind. So if I go into my material here and look at the underlying nodes here and they are all clouds and procedurals and non-specific but let's say that I want to use this this decal that I have onto this geometry and I want to reuse it. So maybe I want to come back later and do versions. So what I do when I have in this situation, I use this either my input here that I define here. So I can go to my tab and hit I. So I get the input and that's a, a way to build a connection to something living from outside of the material itself so we can have a channel to hook it up to this input but that's uh, kind of like a, a tedious way you need to connect things so what i tend to do is to house these type of specific data to a material like say that i have something like a logo that i want to apply to to this geometry and this material. So if we tab and start to type geo and uh, add geo to my channels. So a geo channel is essentially a channel that's living onto the geometry. So it's gonna be broadcast throughout your whole project because then you can load specific data like a channel or a logo onto a geo channel and reuse it in new material. So that's the way I go about when I want to use something specific. Let's say that you have this lens, for example, and you want to change only the color, but the, the logo you want to be the same. And later on, if you would uh, decide to actually take this material, change it uh, to something else. Let's say that you apply it to another asset. The UV will be different, but you can still just repaint the geo channel. If you don't know how to use geo channel, I've already created one of those episodes earlier. So I'm going to link in the description to that episode and you can also see it in the corner now. And that will conclude this episode. And as usual, if you want to support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. See you on the channel. Bye bye.